Good afternoon. I've been asked to figure out the, the best way to include a, a photo slideshow onto a Google site. Um, normally, you would think you would edit the page, go to insert, and maybe use this Picasso web slideshow. Um, but Picasso is a little strange. Um, it's not an online storage um, service unless you have the software installed or unless you have access to Google Plus with your educational account. And I know a lot of districts haven't turned that on yet. Um, I experimented yesterday with using uh, Animoto uh, to uh, embed a slideshow. And if you haven't heard of Animoto, um, it's a great service that's easy to use. You just throw some photos at it, give it some titles, and it'll create a, uh, a real fun and interesting video for you. I can show you a quick little sample of it here. You know, and I didn't have to do all the animation or anything. I just put in some titles, put in some photos, captioned those photos, and told Animoto to make me a video. And so normally, uh, what I tried yesterday uh, was to embed, go to more, and embed the video and use this code on the Google site um, to play the video. But it, the slideshow never worked. Um, so. Um, and again, if you haven't signed up for Animoto, if you want to, uh, you can go to animoto.com slash education slash classroom, and you can apply for a free uh, educator account. You just click on Apply Now and click on New User, sign up there, and follow the steps. Um, so uh, how do we use, or what's another way, workaround? Uh, so you still can use Animoto. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, included uh, an embedding link, so under Insert, and more gadgets, I've done an include gadget or an iframe. And what that has done, and I'll show you how I did this here in a second, um, but what it does is now when I click on my photos page, which should be my slideshow, it does a redirect to Animoto. So it's on this page for just a second, and then it automatically goes to that uh, photo page uh, on Animoto, or the, the video page, so you can see that. So how did that get done? Let me show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to make a new, a new page, or sorry, new page. I'm going to call it Slideshow or Animoto. Okay, just make it a regular web page and hit Create. And now once you've gone to Animoto, signed up, and have created a video of your photos, you're going to click on this More button and you just want to copy this link to the video page, copy that to your clipboard. All right, now we're going to switch back to our new page here on Animoto and go to the Insert menu. We're in editing mode. Go to Insert, More Gadgets, and you want this Include Gadget iframe. Um, hit Select, so that's the one you want to use, and then you've got a couple of options here. So you just paste your uh, the link to your Animoto page in there. Uh, leave all those settings right there. I always like to check this one. Uh, include a scroll bar. The width and height uh, are fine. And I'm just going to change the name of this to uh, Animoto Slideshow. You can make it whatever you want. OK, and then hit OK there. And you'll get a little gray box that says you've got that gadget in place. Now when you hit save, you've got the Animoto slideshow and it redirects right to that page. Um, so that's probably the easiest way to use Animoto. Uh, but there may be a better way to, uh, to do your slideshow on your website. Um, let me go back to my home page here. And uh, so what I want to do is I want to create a slideshow myself in a Google presentation. And what that'll do is um, it'll allow me to have a little bit more control over it, and it's super easy to build a new slideshow. Um, and the way you do that is in your uh, Google stuff here. Let me just pull this window in. Uh, in your Google Drive, hit Create and choose a presentation. Now I've already got one going that I've added a few pictures to. Uh, just made a title slide, random class photos or road trip photos. I'll just change that to random photos. Okay, first slide, I just drag a picture into there. Uh, the second slide, I put in a couple of different pictures with uh, some text. 
And uh, so let's let's show you what to do. I'm just going to hit this little down triangle here next to the plus button, and I'm going to choose a new blank slide. And it's going to drop one right in there. And then really all I have to do is drag and drop photos from my computer. Just drag them from a folder, drop them onto the to the slide there, and the picture is automatically uploaded. And then I can adjust the size if I want to make it smaller or bigger or whatever I want to do. So let's let's make this one smaller. And I'm going to add in some text here. Click right there. And I'm going to say hot air balloons. Okay, in Google presentations, uh, you're not stuck with just the default Arial font. Um, I've actually added some fun new fonts by coming down here and choosing Add Fonts. Google has a ton of them available. Um, so I'm going to use Rock Salt there, change the size to a 48 or so. Okay, stretch it out so everything fits. Move it around. Looks good. Okay, so now I have those. Uh, slides here in order. I can move those around if I want to change the order of them. Um, but now I have a slideshow. And the cool thing about this is that now that I have a slideshow that's saved in Google Drive, saved in Drive, if I go back to my site and let's make a, uh, let's see, let's make a new page for this. And I'm going to call this one uh, Slideshow. Okay, web page is just fine. Hit create. And now I go back to the insert menu and choose a presentation from the Google side over here. And it'll come up with all the different presentations you've made. There's slideshow for Google site. I click on that and say select. I've got a few options here. Uh, start the slideshow as soon as the player loads and restart the slide. That means loop that slideshow. Uh, don't just stop at the end. And I can also change the size of it on the page. Um, I don't need to bore around it. And hit save. And now when I save the page up here, you'll see that my slideshow is included. There's the title. There's the first picture. And it automatically advances. There's the new picture that I added and then it goes back to the front. And so you can use this for photo slideshows but you could also use it for uh, on your home page for class announcements or whatever. Just have one presentation that you go in and edit once a week and you can put in pictures and videos and text or whatever you want and uh, it'll automatically update on your Google site. Pretty cool. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, leave some comments uh, below if you have any questions or or uh, any extra ideas to add to this, uh, but uh, good luck.